All right, so welcome to our coach university once again. And there's a third, the third question in the assignment. Now, this is also a similar problem to the assignment two, only that here there is a bit difference that um, we'll talk about that later. Up until this point, if you've not subscribed, can you do so? And please like and share the video if you find it interesting. Now, in this video, I'm going to find a velocity of point B. Now the question says the boom is reducing a length at a constant rate of this and then it's being lowered by this. If it's being lowered, it's going to rotate in a clockwise and it's going to slide in this direction. So you are going to take negative to be a, a clockwise rotation. And since it is reducing, the value becomes negative, right? Negative rate. So V, B, relative A, B, zero point two, omega A, B. So V, B equals V, A plus V, B relative A plus omega A, B cross R of B relative A. V, A is zero. V, B relative A will be equal to the magnitude and then we have cos 30i plus sine 30j. Um, R of B relative A will be 6 into bracket cos 30i plus sine 30j. So um this one will be all right let's just so vb will be equal to negative 0 0.2 cos 30 is root 3 with 3 on 2 to 0 0.866 i plus 0 0.5 j and then plus 0 0.0 negative right 8k cross six six sign at a position the arrow will be relative that is what six cos thirty six sine thirty so we have six three root three I plus three J. So VB we have negative zero point zero two, negative zero point two times zero point two six. So we have minus zero point one seven three two. I minus one zero point one I J and then here we have this K cross I J so the minus will still come zero point zero eight zero point zero eight times three three that is zero point four one five six and then you have this crosses so 0 0.08 times 3 0 0.24 k cross so that have a negative w plus 0 0.24 i okay so vb will be put i's together put the j's together so we have 0 0.0668 i and this and this will be minus what 0.5156 j all right so if you are rotating like this suppose this is our graph then here is going to be positive and then the y-axis are going to go down the negative direction so this makes sense so meter per second all right now you can find the magnitude and direction that is also fine so vb will be equal to square root of 0.0, .0 six six eight squared plus 
0.5156 squared and that will be 0 0.66 squared so we get 0 0.5199 meter per second and let's use phi 1 for the angle then inverse of so here we will have y to be negative x to be positive so it'll be within this quadrant we find it to be here then it's up that's from 360. so opposite will be the y and that's going to be the x so 0 0.5156 out of 0 0.0668 and that will be done inverse 0 0.5156 on 0 0.0668 so we have 82.618 if we subtract that from 360 by 1 will be Three sixty minus eight two point six one eight is two seven seven point three eight two degrees. So the velocity of B can also be zero point five one nine nine at an angle two seven seven three eight two zero degrees meter per second all right so the next thing is the uh, acceleration and i'm going to follow the same procedure so acceleration of b is equal to acceleration of a plus acceleration of b compared to a plus angular acceleration of b a plus r of b from a plus two omega cross b of b relative a minus omega squared omega a b a right or a b multiplying r of b relative a now the a is fixed so this is zero and then the reducing of the length which is the sliding velocity of b with respect to a was constant so the sliding acceleration was also zero and the lowering the angular velocity is also constant so this is also zero so acceleration of b will just be 2 omega a b cross v of b with respect to a and then minus omega squared times so r of b with respect to a all right so real quick omega a b so this one will be 2 times 0 0.08 k cross v of b with respect to a that was the uh, V of B with respect to was this expression, which was this minus 0 0.1732 y minus 0 0.1 j minus 0 0.1732 i minus 0 0.1 j then minus 0 0.08 squared multiplying. The position was 3 root 3 i plus 3 j. All right, so the acceleration of B will be equal to 2 times 0 0.08 times this then we cross the i's and the g's so 2 times 0 0.08 times 0 0.1732 so that gives us 0 0.0277 0 0.0277 k cross i j so positive j oh sorry the angular velocity was negative, so I have to bring it. Omega A B. Omega A B negative zero point zero eight. So this will multiply the negative get positive value. And here too we have negative negative with positive. So we just have um the whole thing times zero point one. So we have zero point zero one six. Now, this times the 0 0.1 will be 0 0.016, negative, negative, positive, k equals g, negative, y, so minus 0 0.016i. Now, when we come here, we have 0 0.08 squared multiplying 3 root 3. 
and that is minus 0 0.033 i and then minus 0 0.0192 j so a b once again put the j's together so 0 0.0 0 0.016 is minus this is minus plus 0 0.033 so that gives us 0 0.049. So minus 0 0.049 i and then the g's. We have 0 0.0277 minus 0 0.0192. So that is plus 0 0.0085 g. All right, so this one too, can leave it here, interpret second squared, or can be magnitude and direction as with the velocity. Yeah, so this is where we end. Now, kindly cross-check the values with your own calculator and make sure they are right. If you don't understand it, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video and the subsequent ones that I've made, kindly share them to your friends, like, and let me know anything you have in the comment section. If you want to appreciate you yes let me know in the comment section and once again for students of k university who are taking this course you'll be having a crash course that um will prepare you for the exam so if you're interested let me know in the comment section and then i will add you to the group then we'll take it from there it's not going to be free by the way no free lunch in free land all right have some fun thank you goodbye